Hey everyone, it's Riggs, and we're back here with another mail call episode. It's been a few weeks since we've had one. Uh, things have been a little busy with real life stuff, so I haven't been too attentive to the channel, uh, though the last week I've been off from work and I've been trying to uh, create some videos and, and get things moving again. But it's time to do another mail call episode. I thought with this being New Year's Eve that this would be a great time to uh, reflect on some of the videos of the past month look at some of the comments and, and uh, chat with you all about them. Our first comment comes from Butterfly Katana. It's about finding windows to attack our iconic heroes of today. Never take an E, never give them an inch. And I think this is a comment to the video about Indiana Jones and Marion Ravenwood's uh, creepy relationship that's been alleged um, kind of uh, in today's lens versus the early 80s when the when the film was produced and the 1930s when the events would have taken place in the 1920s you know so the, there was some debate there over whether or not it would have been looked at at the time in the 1920s and 1930s you know a 16 year old girl with a uh, young man in his uh, early to mid 20s would if that would be looked at as being creepy certainly today it would be looked at in rightfully so like the worst possible light i think maybe the people that are writing these articles are reading a little bit too much into what was going on there um obviously they had a troubled relationship and now they're back together uh at least during raiders of the lost ark and then they go their separate ways again and then they get back together in the crystal skull so thanks for watching butterfly katana thanks for taking the time to leave a comment and I think I saw your subscription notification, so thanks for being a, a subscriber to the channel. The next comment we have is from Griffin. Considering Kathleen Kennedy is in charge of this, if Henry Mutt Jones 3 is mentioned, it won't be good. He'll either be dead or disgraced. I'm still betting Kathleen Kennedy's latest self-insert character will replace the inferior and undeserving male. So this is a comment to the video about Mutt Williams and possibly learning about his whereabouts or what happened to him in the upcoming Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Um, the self-insert character that Griffin's referring to is Phoebe Waller-Bridge's character. What we think, her name is Helena Brody, and some of the speculation that she'll be taking over the hat and whip for Indiana Jones and replacing Indiana Jones in continuity moving forward. Griffin, thanks for watching the video. Uh, hope uh, hope you continue to do so. Number three, from Timothy Dahlbeck. At this point, Warner Brothers Discovery probably will barely be able to afford any inexpensive DC films. They cannot miss with the inaugural DCU Films entry. That is a good point. I don't know about the inexpensive films. Obviously, with the reworking of HBO Max and Discovery Plus, putting together some, some new service, they put a lot of those lower budget productions on ice or or burn the negatives or whatever whatever they've done i don't expect we'll be seeing a lot of that kind of stuff uh immediately moving forward i think they're going to focus their full attention on whatever the first movie in this new rebooted uh universe is going to be but i want i worry for them it could be a fantastic movie even though maybe it'll be critically acclaimed and the fans will love it the fact that they've done so much damage over the last decade with just the the terrible output that they've um, introduced to the world the morbid dark depressing Snyderverse that people will stay away even if um, even if it's great hopefully they come up with something that uh, is gonna click it's gonna have the right mix of action adventure uh, heroism uh, a little bit of humor but not overdoing it a little bit of seriousness but not overdoing it and uh, all we can do is wait and see um, thanks Timothy for watching thanks for leaving the comment our next comment comes from Brittany J Taylor and this is in response to our recent Ahsoka video we were reacting to an article from CBR.com about Ahsoka Tano and Grand Admiral Thrawn and the possible villains in the upcoming Ahsoka Disney Plus TV show I had speculated that perhaps it could be an opening to bring the Yuuzhan Vong that everybody hated tw uh, 20 years ago back into the co current continuity. Um, but there was also speculation that it could be the Grisk, and she's saying let it be the Gr Grisk Wars. 
which I guess from after I saw this comment, I kind of went and looked it up. I guess I, this is from the uh, some of the novelizations that have come out recently. Personally, I haven't been keeping up with those. I have been reading some of the comic books, mostly the Darth Vader series that they've been putting out over the past few years that are pretty good. But I'll take a look into this, and then maybe, maybe next time I do a video on it, I won't be so uninformed. Uh, thanks for watching, Brittany. Finally, we've got a, another comment from Smiley99. Did anyone that believes this rumor ever considered that Helena might just have a spin-off sequel instead of replacing Indiana Jones and that the Indiana, Indiana Jones 5 film is simply a way to introduce this character to the franchise? Like, the chick's name isn't Indiana Jones. It's Helena, after all. So obviously, she cannot be Indiana Jones, and so obviously somebody else has to be, and it's obvious Disney will not stop using the Indiana Jones brand name that they paid millions for, billions, you know, probably if you throw it in with Star Wars, uh, for just to all of a sudden switch to another name in the title of any future main storyline sequels or reboots. So they either will still be using Ford till he dies of old age, or will reboot with a young, new, younger male actor eventually. There's no proof of sources, screenings, and different versions and endings of Indiana Jones 5, and I wouldn't call sources such as Reddit and YouTube being more credible than the director of the movie himself. If the director keeps denying these rumors over and over, why are so many people believing unknown sources from Reddit and YouTube that automatically people believe? Like, no one has seen this movie, including Doomcock himself, and he even says so himself to take what he says with a grain of salt, and I have caused it's just speculation and rumors that anyone could easily have made up. This rumor about it that Doomcock fuels sounds so great school that I cannot understand how anyone would believe it. Doomcock sure gets a lot of subs and likes for making crap up and pretending he's got sources, though. Hopefully when this movie finally comes out, he gets called out. And once everyone finally sees the movie and notices that the rumor was BS, watches Doomcock tries to save his credibility by claiming, exposing of the so-called truth forced Disney to make changes to the movie. Which, of course, is nonsense, as the rumor fueled by Doomcock was obviously BS from the start. This was from one of our videos, uh, or a comment to one of our videos, where we were talking about the different rumors that may be uh, floating around out there. Uh, get a lot of play on Overlord DVD's uh, YouTube channel, and again, we're we're to the the rumor is Harrison Ford's Indiana Jones is going to get kind of blinked out of existence, and that Helena Brody, Phoebe Waller Bridge's character, is going to be picking up the hat and whip, and taking the place of Harrison Ford's Indiana Jones throughout history and all the different events that he was supposed to be in, uh, finding the Ark. Finding the the Grail, finding the the Shankara stones, uh, presumably you know finding the Crystal Skull, and we'll see a montage of all these different you know classic Indiana Jones scenes with with Helena in in the uh, action instead of Indy. So of course uh, I'll, I'll start at the end. Uh, Doomcock, yeah, absolutely. If if it's something different, you know he's already laid the groundwork for that. That um, they'll be forced to make the changes because of you know him, him exposing it. Uh, th that's true. There is no proof of sources or screenings or different versions and endings. They they cherry picked a snippet from a John Williams uh, discussion where he may have let something slip and he may or may not have been uninformed. And I think James Mangold came out and said that he was uh, uninformed about that or he was fully informed but made a mistake. And, you know, oh, we'll take John Williams' word over yours. Well, you know, John Williams is like 93 years old. So it's, it's not outside the realm of possibility that he may have made a mistake. Uh, I'm sure he's still very sharp. He's still composing music. But let's, let's be real. He's, he's a, a very, very, very old man who is uh, getting ready to retire. And it's totally reasonable that he may have, you know, misspoke there. Um, all the other rumors, I mean, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I do think that there is a way that they could take, I don't, I don't say I would like it, but there there is definitely a way that they could take somebody through some chicanery in the script uh, and and remove the, the classic Indiana Jones and replace it with somebody else using that, that name. And that's kind of where a lot of this is coming from. So Smiley99, or are you James Mengold? Thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for leaving the comment. Well, everyone, thanks for watching this episode of Mail Call. Thanks for uh, watching the content on this Receptaculum Ignis YouTube channel. Thanks for subscribing if you're a subscriber. Uh, I really appreciate it. 
2022, I think, has been the third year in a row for a lot of people where things haven't really gone the way they envisioned. Uh, everyone's dealing with a lot of personal challenges with the economy and certainly with their favorite pop culture, maybe not going uh, as they hoped it would um, on the lighter side. Here we are on the precipice of 2023 and hopefully great things for everybody. For this channel, I'm hoping that we can get into a better routine uh, putting out videos every day. I'd like to do one of these mail call episodes weekly. Um, if you all are gracious enough to leave some comments and we can talk about them, we're going to get back into the swing of things with our, our live streams, with our friends, and uh, th there we touch on not just the pop culture, but some other stuff, topical, political topics, and newsworthy stuff, uh, as well as whatever kind of strikes our fancy. So uh, we'll have that to look forward to. Yeah, we're planning on doing a, a New Year's Day or New Year's Day evening live stream so we'll see if that happens or not um thanks for watching please make sure you're subscribed uh, if you haven't hit the bell for notifications if you enjoyed this content please give the video a like and share it with your friends and uh, we'll be sure to make more of them uh, it really helps our channel grow thanks for watching and we'll see you next year